Are the creative aspects of your job being trumped by the analytical demands from the board? Pressure to prove return on investment on virtually every marketing initiative has reached a fever pitch. As marketing analytics captures front and center stage in the boardroom, CMOs are facing greater pressure than any time in history. This trend can easily draw resources and attention from an organization's core identity, leaving it vulnerable to missed branding opportunities. Let's take a look at eSurance, an Allstate company. In their early years, they spent two years building innovative demand generation and marketing analytics programs. Unfortunately, over time, their brand earned the price check and cartoon company moniker. Prospects started using eSurance's website to compare prices and then buy from competitors. The market had seized control of their brand. John Swigert, though, the CMO of eSurance, realized that if they didn't react quickly, they would waste millions on advertising and witness stagnant growth. Their experiences remind us of the dark side of overinvesting in marketing operations at the expense of the creative aspects of marketing. So be mindful of these traps as you're planning for the coming year. Number one, don't expect to be an instant expert in marketing analytics. The market is changing at warp speed. In fact, I recently counted over a hundred community blogging, community building and social marketing management platforms. So get external help to help you navigate this messy market. Number two, build a safety net as your responsibilities expand. Nearly half of the marketing leaders in my private peer groups now carry a sales quota. Their executive teams, unfortunately, will often cut back on professional development and marketing funds when they're needed the most. Next, avoid order taker mentality. You cannot anticipate opportunities when you're constantly fulfilling urgent needs from your sales teams or your executive teams. Let me tell you the rest of the assurance story. The CMO, John Swigert, started tracking how he personally allocated his management time. And he said, I'm going to begin investing at least 60% in branding and positioning efforts. He and his team also invested in a significant brand makeover. And within months, Assurance saw a 14% insurance premium growth over the prior year and a 30% upswing in new business sales. So please don't forget the power of your brand because some things cannot be captured on a spreadsheet.